Hello friends, I'm back and in this video I want to talk to you about tech. Now don't immediately tune out. I know a lot of you are probably a little bit uh, weary of tech, a little bit tired of tech, a little bit frustrated with tech and hopefully in this video I'm going to give you a framework to think about your tech so that you can set it up in a way that makes it useful to you instead of frustrating. Okay, so just a reminder that this video is part of the 2020 Foundation series. And so if you're looking for quick fixes, if your uh, framework for making decisions about tech is always about, you know, what is the cheapest or is it free? This is not the video for you, okay? This is a video for service-based business owners who are really tired of struggling with tech and you wanna set up a foundation that's going to allow you to focus on the things you need to focus on and that being scaling and growing your business, okay? So let's get into it. Here is, I talk about this a lot, I've talked about it over many years, and here's just another way to kind of think about this. We're talking about foundations, a triangle is a great representation of something with a really steady base, right? And so when I'm thinking about tech, uh, this first layer down here for me is gonna be about security and for most of you that's just going to simply mean a password manager okay um, and why is that important you're building all of these things uh, for your business to market your business um, to run your business and if it's vulnerable if you get hacked or uh, if anybody can get access to it then they can really curtail your business they can really um, you know mess up your business and so whatever it is you're building you want to make sure it's protected so I know that a lot of you watching this are still using uh, maybe a Google spreadsheet or sticky notes to manage your password and if you are serious about scaling your business um, that's got to come to an end. So you just, you have to get a password manager. And I'm not going to talk about specific apps because you can go uh, get my mini course. I'll put that link in the description and you can find out all the tools I actually recommend for these things. But I'm just going to talk about the things that you need um, for a stable business in regards to the tech that you're using. Okay, so the second layer of this is going to be your website. And that's going to include uh, your domain name and your hosting. And so one of the biggest mistakes that I see uh, in this arena is people who don't own their website. You're using something like a Facebook page for all your needs. Um, or you let your developer set up your domain name and so you don't actually own your domain name. That's kind of like if you were gonna buy a house and you go, went through the whole process and it came time to say, say, uh, sign the papers and then you let your real estate agent sign the papers and then they would own your house. So that's the equivalent. If you've let your developer or your cousin or whoever's helping you actually register your domain name, they own it, you don't. So that is one of the biggest mistakes that I have seen over the past seven years that I've been in this industry um, is that people don't really understand the importance of this. So make sure that you actually own your domain name, uh, make sure you get good hosting, and make sure that you're using a website that you own. If you're basing your entire online marketing on social media or third-party platforms that you don't own, that is basically sharecropping, and I can tell you that's hardly ever worked out well for anybody. Okay, so our third layer here is going to be email. And specifically, I want you to have an email address that is at your domain, okay? So, you know, if you are a dog trainer, I don't want you to have uh, Gina's dog training at gmail.com as your domain for your business because nothing says I'm not really serious about this like using a free Gmail address for your business. So if you're just starting out, that's fine, but I'm talking about building scalable foundation. So you want your email address to be at your domain. Um, and for that, you know, I use, I just use Google because it integrates with everything and it makes things a lot easier. Okay. Next thing is your, what Chris Davis calls your marketing layer. Um, and specifically landing pages. 
okay? And what do I mean by landing page? A landing page is just, it's not really uh, technically any different from a regular web page, but it's specific. When you go to a landing page, I'm sure you've all been to these, you go and it's for someone to collect your information, for you to collect someone else's information. So the choices are you can give your information or you can leave, and that's pretty much it. So every business can benefit from having landing pages, from being able to have a specific call to action and a specific offer for people um, to kind of come into your sphere of influence, come into your world. So you need a tool that can let you create landing pages really quickly um, and deploy those for things that you want to, different offers that you want to test. All right, the next layer is, oops, lead generation. Okay, so on your landing page, you need a way to actually capture someone's email address. So there's tons of tools out there. There's tons of, there's some landing page software that actually includes the form that will let you capture someone's email address with it. Um, but those are often two separate things. So you need to be aware that you're gonna need something to actually capture those leads so that you can um, take the conversation deeper and talk to your prospects a little further about your service. All right, next thing is once you've got these leads, you are going to need a way for them to pay you. So you're gonna to wanna to have some kind of payment processing software. Um, you know, whether you are doing high volume or e-commerce or um, low volume, high ticket service, you want some really easy way for people to pay you online. And the next layer is automation. Okay. And automation can apply to lots of things. Um, specifically, most people think of email marketing automation, um, which is a great first thing to start with. But you can automate so many things in your business. And I would add that um, a tool that is really helpful for this is uh, Zapier because it allows you to connect a lot of the tools for these different things together without having to code. So the automation layer, um, really applies to your marketing especially, but it can apply, apply to lots of different things in your business like um, how you do your onboarding or how you follow up with people after they purchase. Automation is basically what's gonna save you time and keep you from doing repetitive tasks over and over in your business. Um, it could also apply to social media marketing, right? If you're spending all your time you know, posting to Instagram or what have you, there's probably automation that can help you cut way down on that time. And here at the top, is content marketing. Okay, content marketing is what I teach my clients and it's the tip of the iceberg, but all these layers here are supporting making this really easy so that you can create a content marketing system that's profitable for your business and continues to bring leads in whether you're actually working or not. So I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know. Let me know if you think I left something out or if you have a specific tool that you love for one of these layers. Um, let me know what you think. And if there's someone that you're thinking of right now who really needs to watch this video, who needs to see this and kind of get their tech life together, please go ahead and grab that link and share it with them right now. Now, if you're wondering, what do I actually use? What do I recommend specific tools for all these things? Um, I have a really easy way for you to find that out. You can go to carveldigital.com slash tools and you can opt in and become one of my subscribers and you get all sorts of resources, not the least of which is a, a mini course where I show you exactly which tools uh, I recommend for all of these services. And these are things that I have loved and used for many years that have been solid for my business and I don't spend a lot of time managing or have downtime and things like that. So go check that out and I will see you in the next video.